Wonder Wang. It's Misty here from the Jolly Fit Elf. Thank you so much for joining me. Welcome to another day in my 2024 holiday card series. In today's video, we're making, it's the simplest way to make a shaker card. Um, shaker cards are so much fun. They're my husband's favorite. I made him a shaker card for his birthday earlier in the year. He loves them. He gets such a giggle out of them. So they are so much fun. They're interactive. Um, I don't know anybody who hasn't ever gotten a shaker card and not liked it. I mean, I don't know everybody in the world, but surely not. Surely not. And so that's what we're doing in today's video. And this card actually happens to be a Hanukkah card. So I'm really excited to finally get a Hanukkah card on this channel. Uh, I meant to do this for months. This is not the last one you'll see. Um, I reached out to my friend Michael, World of Michael Trent, because I found some puns on Creative Fabrica. And I was like, are these offensive? Because they're so flippin' funny. <laughs> so you're gonna see some of those coming down the road. So today it's the easiest shaker card. We're gonna be doing some coloring, cutting, ribbon, etc. So yeah. So if you're new here, hey, hi, hello. Make sure you say hi in the comments. Leave a comment because every month I will have a giveaway. So I will leave the giveaway open till the 4th of November. And then on the 5th of November, I will pick a random video and a random commenter for them to win a prize. It is open internationally. I will ship it to you if you win. So make sure that you comment on all of the videos. And yeah, so if you haven't already, I hope you'll consider subscribing, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And um, you can find me on Facebook. I'm trying to be better on Instagram. I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> All right. That's enough jibber jabber. Let's head over to the craft table and I'll walk you through, seriously, the easiest shaker card ever in your life. Okay, friends, we are going to be using stamp pockets from Stamp Anything. Not stamp pockets, shaker pockets from Stamp Anything. I picked up some confetti and some star sequins, ribbon, a stamp set, and this paper off Amazon. I will try to remember to link everything down below, but if you just search Hanukkah, um, crafts or Hanukkah paper or whatever you're looking for on Amazon, you'll find, you'll find all of it. And, um, the stamp set was like $4 and I was thinking, oh, this is going to be awful. No, it's actually nice. It stamps really nicely. So you can cut your paper to four and an eighth by five and three eighths. Now call, you can supposedly do four, it's the A2 size. So it's four and a quarter by five and a half. And I cut mine just a little bit smaller. So there are four tabs and each tab has adhesive and I like to put the paper in um, and do close off three. Here I'm trimming off just a little bit. I'm going to cut it down and um, I like to get it centered and then I put one tab down, normally the bottom tab, and then I go from there. Now some of this is off camera and I apologize for that. I'm a little bit more zoomed in than I normally would be. Um, again, I just, I keep filming, so I probably did a card right before this and wasn't really paying attention. So I have that where I want, and I'm going to go ahead and pull off the bottom and make sure it's perfectly straight, and then I'm going to go ahead and put that adhesive. Now, before I do any of this, I like to go ahead and fold on the score lines. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to get it folded when you do this. So that creates a little pocket, and in that pocket, I'm going to put some um, leftover drills from diamond painting. <laughs> I'm going to put some of that confetti and some of those stars and we're going to create our shaker. And again, this is the simplest way to make one. Um, I will have the stamp anything pockets listed down below for sure. Um, I think some people call this like an endless shaker. I don't remember exactly what I've seen it being called, but to me, this is just the simplest. I love these, um, shaker pockets. <laughs> I think they're fantastic. And again, the simplest way to do a shaker card because all you have to do is cut paper and throw what you want in there and then move it around. That's it. <laughs> That's it. And they're reasonably priced with Stamp Anything. Again, I will have them linked down below. Um, I get them free from them because I am on the design team. But even if I didn't, I would buy them. So I love these stars. They're a little bit bigger. And here I am just mixing it all together in this bag and um, using up the diamond drills, which I am excited about. So I did diamond painting for the first time at some point last year, and I ended up loving it. And I have like four big quote-unquote paintings that I need to do that I haven't done yet. <laughs> so 
<laughs> Maybe you guys will see that next year, starting after the holiday card series. I don't have time right now. I don't have time. So I'm currently working on designing the kits for this holiday card series. Last year I did eight. Um, I think this year I'm going to give you the option of picking um, either from this new set of cards or and or from last year's cards because I still have all the files and still can make them, etc. So be on the lookout for that. And my goal is to have the um, Etsy shop updated by this weekend. Um, I will let you guys know in the voiceover on Friday if I got that done. So I'm going to slow this down. I normally go right where it says remove um, the film and I <laughs> I use my scissors to get it started and then I just rip it off and this is so satisfying. So satisfying. Now sometimes I will leave that on until I get the adhesive on the back of it but I wanted to use this ribbon um, and the easiest way to do this is either with scotch tape or washi tape and you just put the ribbon on the back and um, I'm not going to add a bow. I don't like tying bows when there is a um, a pattern only on one size, it gets to be one side. It gets to be a little bit irritating, and I don't have the patience. <laughs> so to adhere this to our card base, I'm using this Taran tape, score tape, score pile tape. It's all kind of the same thing, the same idea. And I didn't go all the way to the end, so I didn't end up putting on these little pieces. I'm going to go over that with a bone folder because you want to make sure that that adhesive is down really well. And then I'm just going to remove the backer sheet off the adhesive. And we're going to get this to on a card base. I've mentioned before that these are card bases that I get up, get off Amazon. Listen, we we earn our, we're like, we, we save a lot of money with our prom account <laughs> because Amazon comes a lot. Rob asks me every single day, are you getting a package from Amazon today? No, not today. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm going to stamp the dreidel and I'm going to stamp some coins. Um, initially, I started with the um, menorah, but cutting these, I'm cutting these out by hand. I need to see if I can get this to do pick scan on my silhouette. I was like, okay, how do I cut this out so it doesn't look ridiculous? So I just skipped it. <laughs> We're going to do these instead. And I'm going to be using um, shades of blue. And I have the dreidel song stuck in my head. Dreidel, 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 made it out of clay. That song? I think that's the song. And the Hanukkah song by Adam Sandler. <laughs> Those are the two songs that get in my head when I think about Hanukkah. Now, I'm using two colors, but I'm not doing a whole lot of blending on this. There's just not enough space. Plus, I wanted to go over it with some gel pen. Initially, I colored these with gel pen, and I didn't like it. I didn't like the way it looked. So I was like, you know what? Let's just do Copics, and then um, I can go over it with some gel pen. And I really, really like it. And I um, I end up going um, coloring the stars, and then I go in the center of both stars and color it with a lighter color just to give it a little bit because it looks, again, it looks a little ridiculous having the white center, but I didn't feel like coloring it all in. I don't know. I, I just didn't like the look of it or didn't like, I didn't think that I would like the look of that is what I'm trying to say. And instead of doing this, I could have just adhered a couple of the sequins that are inside of the um, shaker card because they are rather big, but I decided not to. So I'm just using the darkest color of the lightest blue and just filling it in, no shading whatsoever. And I realized halfway through that this is just two triangles. I don't know how I never figured that out before I finally saw it. Listen, I am awful at spatial reasoning and all of that jazz awful at it so <laughs> yeah <laughs> when I taught first grade I learned right along with um phonics because I didn't read the, I don't read learn to read phonetically like I can't read phonetically and um, so teaching phonics was a learning experience for me and for them and so the same thing with like spatial reasoning doing like those pattern cards and stuff like that I'm like oh my gosh it's, it's not easy being cheesy. <laughs> so I have two different silvers and I went ahead and picked the one that is just a little bit deeper. And I'm just going on the um, Hebrew on the dreidel and then going on the sides of the coins. And I know that sometimes the coins are gold and sometimes they are silver. Since this was a blue silver 
blend silver card. I would just went ahead and stuck with that color scheme. I'm using a Nuvo um, Aqua Shimmer Pen. These are my favorite. I prefer these over Wink of Stella because the Wink of Stella, even though it says it's clear, the shimmer is gray. So I cut those out with scissors, and here I am just adding B10, no, BG10 to the center of the stars. And then I'm going to go around it with, um, this is a Stampin' Write marker from Stampin' Up. It is um, just a water-based marker. So if you have a zig um, marker, any kind of, don't use Copic, but any kind of like water dye-based dye ink marker will work. The Tombows, those will work. So yeah. Going around this and then to get these adhered to this card i'm going to use glue dots um normally i would use like um liquid adhesive but i don't like to use liquid adhesive on sugar cards because i get it all over all over <laughs> all over and it just frustrates me so i don't even bother using liquid glue on sugar cards anymore I'm using mini glue dots and just kind of adding these on um, and letting the ribbon be the sentiment. And once I do that, that's it. Again, the simplest, easiest shaker card. I think this took me 30 minutes and that's because I stamped and colored two different times. But here's a look at it all finished. Thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. As I mentioned in the intro, we will do more traditional shaker cards later down the road. But that's it. So let me know what you think of this one in the comments down below. I will see you Wednesday for another card. And if you missed it, I posted today's giveaway winner. Um, and I'll put the screenshot here. So make sure you email me by Friday. No, email me by Wednesday. Oh, my word. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>